Hello friends, good morning. In my previous lecture, I had explained about the multi-stage impulse generator. I had explained mark circuit as well as modified mark circuit. In last to last lecture, I had explained single stage impulse generator and associated equations. All the equations of single stage impulse generator are valid for multi-stage impulse generator also. Only difference is, in case of multi-stage impulse generator, all the capacitors are discharged in series. So, we have to take the electrical equivalent or equivalent circuit of n number of capacitors in series. So, C1 will be equal to C divided by n. n is number of stages. In this video lecture, I will take few numericals on multi-stage impulse generator. First numerical, a 12 stage impulse generator has capacitance of 0.126 microfarad. Wavefront and voltage resistances are 300 ohms and 5000 ohms respectively. Wavefront resistance means R1 and voltage resistance means R2. If the load capacitance is 1000 picofarad, load capacitance means C2. Find the front and tail times by approximate as well as exact method. I had given you the calculation for the time T1 and T2 by approximate method as well as exact method. So, in this numerical we have to compute the tail time and front time by approximate as well as exact method. Given N that is number of stages is equal to 12 C capacitance of the generator impulse generator 0.126 microfarad each R1 300 ohms, R2 5000 ohms and C2 is 1000 picofarad. So, first we solve by approximate equation. For time T1 that is rise time or front time, the equation is 3 times R1 C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2 and T2 is 0 0.7 R1 plus R2 into C1 plus C2. In these two equations, we have to take R1 and R2 in ohms and C1 and C2 in microfarads. So, we get T1 and T2 in microseconds. So, let us compute C1. So, it is C upon number of stages. So, it is 0 0.126 by 12. It is 0 0.0105 microfarad. So, E1 according to this equation will be 3 into R1 into C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. So, it is coming 0 0.8217 microseconds. C2, T2 is 0.7 R1 plus R2 C1 plus C2. So, it is coming 42.6 microseconds. Now, same numerical we shall, we shall solve by exact equation. The equations are alpha is equal to 1 by 2 in bracket 1 upon R2 C1 plus 1 upon R1 C2 plus 1 upon R1 C1. Beta is 1 by 2 4 alpha square minus 4 upon R1 R2 C1, C2. T1 is 1 upon 2 beta ln in bracket alpha plus beta upon alpha minus beta. Alpha minus beta is 0 0.7 upon T1 k minus 1. From this equation we shall compute k and T2 is k into T1. Now here k you have to take R1, R2. They you have to take in ohms. Whereas C1 and C2 you have to take in farads. So here R1, R2 should be in ohms and C1, C2 should be in farads. So, after solving the equations, we get alpha is 6.94 into 10 to the power 6, beta is 0 0.67 into 10 to the power 6, T1 that is rise time is 3.25 microseconds, K is 13.2 from this equation and T2 is 43.4 microsecond. Next numerical, an impulse generator has 8 stages with capacitor rated for 0 0.16 microfarad 125 kV. This is the voltage rating of each capacitor 125 kV. The load capacitance is 1000 picofarad. Find first part is the series and damping resistances required to generate standard lightning impulse. So, here we have to generate standard lightning impulse means T1 will be 1.2 microseconds and T2 will be 50 microseconds. Series resistance means R1 and damping resistance means R2. Part B, 
compute the equation for impulse waveform generated. Part C, find the maximum output voltage generated, that is peak value of the impulse voltage. Part D, find efficiency and energy of the impulse generator. Part E, find the rate of rise and rate of decay of impulse waveform. Assume charging voltage is 100 kV. Now we have to generate lightning impulse. So T1 will be 1.2 microseconds and T2 is 50 microseconds. First part, we have to compute the series and damping resistances that is R1 and R2. So first we compute C1. So all the capacitors are discharging in series. So C divided by N. It is 8 stage impulse generator. C is given it is 0 0.16 microfarads. So C1 is coming 0 0.02 microfarad. It is 0 0.02 microfarad. It will be. It is not 0 0.2. It is 0 0.02 microfarad. That is the answer. 0 0.16 divided by 8 means it is 0 0.02. 2 microfarad. C2 is 1000 picofarad. T1 is 3 R1 C1 plus C1 into C2 divided by C1 plus C2. T1 is 1.2 microseconds. Substitute in this equation. So 1.2 is equal to 3 R1 0 0.02 into 0 0.001 divided by 0 0.02 plus 0 0.001. It is C1 and C2. Both we are taking in microfarads. Time we are taking in microseconds, so R will come in ohms. So R1 is coming 420 ohms. Equation for T2 is 0.7 R1 plus R2 into C1 plus C2. T2 should be in microseconds, it is 50 microseconds. R1, R2 should be in ohms, so R1 is 420, R2 is unknown. C1 and C2 should be in microfarads, so it is 0 0.02 plus 0 0.001. 1000 picofarad means 0 0.001 microfarad. So R2 is coming 2981 ohms. So that is first part. Second part is compute the equation for impulse waveform generated. Now equation for impulse waveform is Vt is equal to V0 e to the power in bracket e to the power minus alpha t minus e to the power minus beta t where V0 is n into V charging, N is number of stages and it is charging voltage, it is given 100 kV divided by R1 C2 multiplied by alpha minus beta, where alpha is 1 upon R1 C2 and beta is 1 upon R2 C1. So substitute the value of R1 in ohms, C2 in farads. So we are getting this 2.38 into 10 to the power 6, it is unitless quantity, beta it is 1 upon R2 into C1. So R2 we have to take in ohms. C1 we have to take in farad. So it is coming 16.66 .66 into 10 to the power 3. Now here you have to remember that whenever we are doing such computation and nothing is mentioned, so we have to use approximate equations. Now substitute the values. V0 is equal to N that is 8 into V charging 100 into 10 to the power 3. It doesn't matter if we take, we, we don't take this 10 to the power 3. In that case, the answer will come directly in kV divided by R1 is 420, C2 is 1000 picofarad in bracket 2.38 into 10 to the power 6 minus 16.67 into 10 to the power 3. So it is coming 806 kV. It is coming 806 kV. Next, we have to compute Vt. So you have to substitute V0 e to the power minus alpha t minus e to the power minus beta t. Now here, we are not multiplying this by 10 to the power 6. This also we are not multiplying by 10 to the power 6 because here we are taking time in microseconds. So time, if we are taking in microseconds, then it will be 10 to the power minus 6 and here it is 10 to the power 6, so they will get cancelled. So here in this equation, this is in kV and time we are taking in microseconds. Third part is you have to compute the peak value. Peak value means that the maximum value of impulse voltage waveform. 
So maximum value is attained when time is 1.2 microseconds. So in this equation, we have to substitute t is 1.2 microseconds. So after computation, we get peak value is minus 744 kb. Same equation we have to use, it is 806 e to the power minus 2.38 into 1.2 minus e to the power minus 0 0.0166 into 10 into 1.2 microseconds. So we are getting peak value is equal to minus 744 kb. Next is efficiency. Efficiency is, this will be peak value, you have to change this, it is not V0, but it is the peak value of the voltage waveform divided by N into V charging. So, peak value we have completed 744, we have to take only magnitude, divided by 8 into 100, so it is 93%. Gross energy is given by half C1 in bracket N into V charging to the power 2 square, CV square, it is CV square, half CV square, so half. C1 we have computed 0 0.02 into 10 to the power minus 6 farads in bracket number of stages 8 charging voltage is 100 kb so 100 into 10 to the power 3 complete square so it is coming 6.4 kilojoules it is coming 6.4 kilojoules last part is we have to find or we have to calculate rate of rise as well as rate of decay so here it is negative impulse because here we are getting Peak value is equal to minus 744 kV, so it is negative impulse. And if you draw the waveform, it will be like this. It is starting from 0, it is attaining the peak value of minus 744 kV at time 1.2 microsecond, that is the rise time. And it is reducing then, and it is attaining the 50% of the peak value, so say minus 70, 744 divided by 2, that is minus 372 kV after time 50 microseconds. So this is the rising portion. So we have to compute the rate of rise. So, it, it will be this value minus this value divided by this value minus this value. So, it is peak value divided by T1. So, minus 744 upon 1.2. So, it is coming minus 620 kV per microseconds. Now, this is the rate, this is the tail portion that is decaying portion. So, here we can compute the rate of decay. So, it will be this value slope will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So, it is minus 744 minus minus 372 divided by 1.2 minus 50. So, it is 7.6 kV per microsecond. So, these are the answers. Now, we shall solve same numerical for switching impulse. All these values we will compute for switching impulse. For switching impulse, T1 that is rise time is 250 microseconds and tail time is 2500 microseconds. So all the calculations will change. Solve numerical 2 for generating switching impulse. For switching impulse, T1 is 250 microseconds and T2 is 2500 microseconds. Given number of stages is 8, C is 0.16 microfarad. C2 is 1000 picofarad and charging voltage is 100 kV. First we compute R1 and R2. So C1 is C upon N. So 0.16 by 8. It is 0 0.02 microfarad. So T1 this formula. So in this formula if we are taking T in microseconds. Sorry. In this formula if we are taking R1, R1 in ohms. C1, C2 in microfarads. Then T1 will directly come into microseconds. So it is 250 microseconds is equal to 3, R1 is unknown, C1 is 0 0.02, C2 is 1000 picofarad means 0 0.001, it is 0 0.001 microfarad divided by C1 0 0.02 plus C2 0 0.001, it is 0 0.001 microfarad. So, R1 is coming 83.75 kilo ohms. T2 is given by this equation. So, here if we take R1, R2, in ohms C1, C2 in microfarads, then T2 will be in microseconds. So, it is 2500 microseconds is equal to 0.7 R1 we have computed. It is 83750 ohms plus R2 that is unknown C1 0 0.02 microfarads and C, C2 0 0.001 it is 0 0.001 microfarads. So, R2 is coming 93.93 kilo ohms. Next part is we have to compute the equation for impulse wave. This is the equation V0 is equal to, uh, sorry, Vt is equal to V0, e to the power minus alpha t minus e to the power minus beta t. 
alpha is given by 1 upon R1 C2. So here R1 will be in ohms, C2 will be in farads. So R1 ohms, R2 uh, C2 in farads. So it is coming 0.0119 into 10 to the power 6. Beta is 1 upon R2 C1. So 1 upon, this is R2 in ohms into C1 in farads. So it is coming 0.0005 into 10 to the power 6. V0 is N into charge in voltage divided by R1 C2 in bracket alpha minus beta. So N8, V charging is 100 kV. R1 is 83. 0.75 it is 83.75 C2 uh, 83.75 into 10 to the power 3 because you have to take this in ohms multiplied by C2 C2 is 0 0.001 into 10 to the power minus 6 farads multiplied by alpha it is 0 0.0119 minus 0 0.0005 complete multiplied by 10 to the power 6 we are taking this 10 to the power 6 common so after calculations we get V0 is 837.91 kV. 837.91 kV. So, equation for impulse voltage will be, impulse waveform will be 837.91 e to the power minus 0.119 T minus e to the power minus 0.0005 T. So, here we are not multiplying this by 10 to the power 6 because T we are taking in microseconds. Here also we are not multiplying this by 10 to the power 6 because we are taking T in microsecond. So this equation is in kV and time taken is taken is in microseconds. Now peak voltage. Now peak will be attained at rise time. That is when time is 250 microsecond for switching impulse. So calculate Vp, substitute in this equation T is equal to 250. So after substitution and computation we get peak value is equal to minus 665 kV, minus 665 kV. It is the peak value attained by switching impulse. Efficiency is given by peak value divided by N into V charging. So peak value we are taking only the value magnitude. So 665 divided by 8 into 100. So it is 83.125%. Efficiency is 83.125%. Gross energy W is half C1 N into V charging. Here C1 has not changed for the for this generator. N is same, charging voltage is also same. So gross energy in both the cases is same because impulse generator is same. We are only changing the value of R1 and R2. Now rate of rise is peak value divided by T1. So it is minus 2.67 kV per microsecond. So if you compare the rate of rise, here it is slow rise. Similarly, if we come compute rate of decay, it is Vp minus Vp upon 2 divided by T1 minus T2. It is 0.148 kV per microsecond. So it is also relatively less. So that is about the computation part of registers, efficiency, gross energy, rate of rise, rate of decay, peak voltage, voltage equation for multi-stage impulse generator. Here you have, to be, to be, you have to be careful about what has been asked, whether it is lightning impulse or it is switching impulse. Then you have to take T1 and T2 accordingly. Friends, if you feel this video lecture useful, then please like it. Subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system production. Ask your friends, colleagues and juniors to subscribe to my channel. Friends, if you want to make effective and efficient use of time, then read my book on time management. This is the title of the book, a concise book on time management, 10 practical techniques to make it habit of time saving and time management. This is the link for the book. It is also given in the description box. I have launched a useful course for the students on Udemy. Title of the course is Accelerate Your Learning by Power of Visualization. It is a course to increase your brain power and program the mind for success. This course is available on Udemy. This course is very useful for the students who are preparing for entrance and competitive exams. This is the link for the book. Link is also given in the description box. Thank you.